Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about how to install the Dara Grip IDE on Windows 10. If you don't know what Dara Grip is, the Dara Grip is a special IDE from JetBrains that help you to manage your database or to create your database or to do other things that are related to the database. Without further ado, let's go ahead and open our favorite browser to get a copy of Dara Grip. So I'm going to type Dara Grip or like this one on my search bar i was previously searching this one so that's why it is suggesting for this go ahead and press enter and the first link that will come will be from the jet brains so when you take a closer look and read the description it's to say that data grip is an integrated development ide for database developers that provide a query console schema navigation explain plan smart code completion real-time analysis and quick fixes refactoring version control integration and other features so let's go ahead and click on the first link that we see on here and wait for a couple of seconds and you can see now this is the welcome screen and as you know like always JetBrains offers a second chance for those guys who are broke like me who, who can't afford a full software so that, that they can take a 30 days uh, evaluation copy they can do project for their bosses and when they get paid at the 30 days they they can come back and pay for the 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 full version and uh, that's what i think so let's go ahead and click on the download button here to get one and in this case we're going to get the evaluation copy we have to wait for the download to be complete and um, i will show you how to install with other processes so stay in touch let's wait for this to be done all right cool once the download is complete go ahead and open the setup and you have to minimize the clone so as to have a clean workspace like this one so as to see what's going on and it is going to start let's wait for a couple of seconds click on the yes and uh come on come on where are you where are you guy real guy okay here it comes and we have to create to click on the next and this will be the installation folder it will be on my c drive program files jet brains data grip 2021.2.3 and what this means this uh, low numbers here means that this is the current version that i'm going to install so i'm going to go ahead and place on next if you want to change the folder you can go ahead and change it but i like to leave the default so as to avoid errors or any other warnings so go ahead and click uh, click on next and when you reach here there will be a lot of options there will be an option to create desktop uh, shortcuts and i'm going to check that one and there will be an option to update the path variable and what this do to uh to try to associate our files that we will run in our data group ide to be run without exiting the ide so i'm going to go ahead and check this one and it will ask us to restart and i after that we can go ahead and press on next again and install so you can bring the details to see what's going on here so if there will be any error you can go ahead and tackle it from here so let's wait for this to be done all right now once the installation is complete and as i told you a few seconds earlier i told you that after the setup is completed it will ask you to reboot you can go ahead and choose the boot for yourself but for me because i'm demonstrating on how to install i'm going to go on to restart because i can lose all the data and this video can't be possible so i'm going to go ahead and check this one and i'll leave it checked by default it's checked to manually install um to manually reboot later so i'm going to finish and when you go on the desktop you can see that the data grip is on here as you set the shortcut to, to, to be on the desktop go ahead and double click to open so wait for a couple of, of seconds or milliseconds for this to be opened all right once you open this for the first time it will ask you if you want to import settings or you don't want to import settings in the in this case i don't want to import settings go ahead and place on ok and wait for a couple of milliseconds i hope it will come and it will ask you for allowing the access allow access 
and once you reach here it will ask you to put the license activation and as i told you you are trying the trial and once you start on start trial and it asks you to log in or to create account you can go ahead and create a free account on JetBrains. but as i was previously using the Jet JetBrains product on my pc i can see that my license is still here as a uh, chris brian and it is a trial one and you can go ahead and uh, make an account and do all the configuration to s have the same interface as mine i hope it will work and go ahead and and uh, click on start trial and you have to wait for it to be loaded let's wait for this one all right cool and you can see now this is now the welcome screen that you can uh, choose from and there will be a lot of options there is an option to an option to create a project there is an option to open a previously created a project and uh, there is an a customize where you can go ahead and you choose all of those things to choose for the color theme the accessibility for the ide font and there will be an option to to install the plugins if you know any plugin that can optimize your work or it can give you other functionalities later than the default functionality you can install it from here but in this case let me go on project and try to create a new project and i'm going to call this one for example database i sales like this one where i can use the camo case like this right and press on ok and it will start to build the components on where you can start to uh, write your functions or to write your files and to bring also the tip of the day and you can go ahead and show the next tip or you can see all the previous tip and you can also close this and this will be the workspace on where you are going to do all your works you can go ahead and create a new and so when you go on and you can choose from here a data source you can choose you can see there will be a lot of things uh, let's see what i clicked on and wait wait it was selecting it accidentally i'm going to go on new data source you can choose from here there will be the Postgres, Oracle, MySQL, MongoDB, Microsoft SQL, Server, MariaDB. Uh, let me go for MariaDB and I can go ahead and choose for this one. You can see that I'm missing drivers. You can go ahead and I uh, serve that one. And this will be the listening port, the user. It will be the loot user. And you can go ahead and press OK. And in this case, you can try to develop something using this one. And basically, that's how you can install this direct grip IDE on your Windows 10. I hope you guys you find this video video very very interesting. And if you liked it, go ahead and place on like and help me to grow my channel by subscribing on click on the red button and turn on the bell icon to get other videos like this one where I make an upload. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.